There are fields here, endless fields, where human beings are no longer born. We are grown. The Machine Age will be the next major expansion DLC for Stellaris. Today we have a full feature list to go through and some information on what each of those features are. We're going to be getting new civics, new origins, new mega structures, and amazingly, a fourth end game crisis. I'm very excited, I hope you are. Without any further ado, let's dive in and find out what the Machine Age will be bringing to Stellaris. Let's start by going through the list of features that this next expansion includes. And this is being called an expansion, so I think you can assume there is a lot of content coming. First up, we have something that people have been asking for for a long, long time in Stellaris individualistic, non-gestalt machine empires. What does that mean? So that means we can now play as machine empires that aren't a hive mind, but rather a race of individual machines, somewhat like after you've completed synthetic ascension and your race is a bunch of synthetics and they are all individuals. This, however, means we can start the game, I believe, as individual non-gestalt machine empires. That's awesome. That is something a lot of people have wanted for quite a long time. If you don't have the Synthetic Dawn story pack, gestalt machine intelligence empires will also be unlocked for you if you purchase this DLC. And I think that generally means that you can probably sidestep Synthetic Dawn now and take this DLC if you want to be playing machines, but we will have to see exactly what the features are that are not included if you do that after the release. We have three new origins coming with this DLC. We don't know exactly what they do, but we have had a little bit of flavor text for each of them. First up, we have Cybernetic Creed. In pursuing the divine calling, we shall achieve the fusion of the exalted body and sacred cybernetics. The Technophants and horror specs of the Cybernetic Creed will guide their flock to the perfect union of flesh and machine. This is basically, I believe, a Mechanicum-style origin. Different to Adeptus Mechanicus, which is the offshoot for those of you that want to get a bit lorry, but Mechanicum is the pre-heresy uh, civilization that existed on Mars. And this kind of sounds like we're going to get spiritualistic machine origin style empire so some sort of cybernetic fusion between spiritualism and machines there's even more flavor text written under the picture saying a cybernetic augmentation is not solely the province of the materialists which i think basically fully confirms that idea synthetic fertility is the second origin playgrounds stand empty in time we will cease to be for now, our salvation lies in the digital realm. A doomed species races against extinction to reach the virtual world in synthetic fertility. The artwork here looks very much like we are uploading all of our pops to the cybersphere, or, uh, you know, onto the internet, basically. And it's all about blurring the lines between the physical and virtual world. What could be very interesting here is if we kind of have virtual pops, or maybe no pops altogether. That would be really cool. I'm not sure if they could manage that in the game. I really am interested to see where this origin is going. I suspect it'll be something about having a declining growth rate that ends up being population in decline. So we start off with minimal growth and then we end up with actual loss of pops. And instead we need to start building synthetic pops and getting some projects to upload our leaders into being virtual leaders. That's my suspicions on this one. Last and definitely not least of the three new origins is Ark Welders. This origin very much sounds like we're going to get a new megastructure origin. So our planet is barren, but our home system is a bounty of riches. To exploit them, we must build bigger than ever before. Originally designed to build mighty constructions in space, the Ark Welders must utilize that advantage to the fullest to overcome the deficiencies of their homeworld. These masters, and I'm quoting here, these masters of mega engineering begin exploiting their home system before discovering faster than light travel. So 
I don't think this can be the case because it would seem terrifyingly amazing, but this origin might allow us to start the game with Mega Engineering or some tooled down version of Mega Engineering, allowing us to build some sort of mega structure project. Possibly one of the new mega structures we'll be getting into a little bit later in this feature reveal. We are also getting six new civics. Guided Sapience, Natural Design, Obsessional Directive, Protocol Droids, and I, I've got to say I love that name, Tactical Cogitators, and oh my goodness me, Tactical Cogitators, could we be any more Adeptus Mechanicus? And finally, one unique Megacorp Civic, Augmentation Bazaars. Now, looking through the actual images, you can see here that four of the civics are for machine empires. I'm assuming that's not just Gestalt machine consciousness empires anymore. I'm assuming that is also the individualistic machine empires. We have two for hive mind, two for regular bio, and two for megacorp. So there's a, a real smattering of civics coming out for lots and lots of different people. Exactly what all of these civics do, at this point we have absolutely no idea beyond the names. If you've got any speculation, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments below. Now I honestly don't think it would be a new Stellaris expansion if we didn't get a couple of new mid-game structures. We're going to be getting the Ark Furnace and the Dyson Swarms. So these two mid-game structures are introduced with Machine Age, the DLC, and exploit systems with the Molten World Arc Furnace. So if you have Molten Planets, you can now build Arc Furnaces. I assume this is some sort of structure for either getting out minerals, or hopefully, because it has the word Furnace in it, we're looking at getting alloys or consumer goods. That could be very, very powerful. We can also start work towards a Dyson Sphere early by building the Dyson Swarm. That is going to be a swarm of satellites around a star to get some of the star's output. I suspect when we fully upgrade this Dyson Swarm, maybe we'll get 100 energy per month or, or a few hundred energy per month. Way less than a fully upgraded Dyson Sphere, but still a respectable amount in the mid-game. We're also going to get new Ascension Paths outside the standard paths for Machine Empires. Currently, if you don't know, there are four Ascension Paths available to normal biological empires, and just one Ascension Path, sometimes two if you are a specific type of machine, available to Machine Empires. The previous paths are uh, Psionic, uh, Genetic, Synthetic, and Cybernetic. Now machines are going to get even more paths, so they actually have a wide variety to choose from. And speaking of ascensions, if you don't have the Utopia DLC, you will also unlock Cybernetic and Synthetic Ascension with this expansion DLC. We can now explore the effects of cyberization or synthesization of society with advanced government forms for those who complete either cyberization or synthesization. These advanced government forms look very, very similar to the different government form choices or the different government authority choices we used to get way back when. I'm thinking all the way back to patch 1.0. A transformative age is upon us, sparked by innovation and oiled by opportunity. The Machine Age explores how cybernetic and synthetic ascension affect society within our empire. Advanced government forms are available to empires that navigate the process. And here we can see four advanced form of democracies, oligarchies, megacorps, uh, dictatorial states, empires, and advanced forms of hive minds. Because yes, even hive minds can cybernetically or synthetically ascend, or maybe they can, they can synthetically ascend now, I'm not sure. They can definitely cybernetically ascend. I suspect they still can't synthetically ascend, and that's why there are only two advanced form of hive mind governments, because that's probably two for cybernetic, and the other two are for synthetic. The cybernetic creed origin also has an additional variant for each standard authority so we've got even more possibilities. Now, of course, alongside all of these changes, we are also getting new species traits for cyborgs, machines, and robots. This really does make sense. We're getting a lot more of a fleshing out for machines and cybernetic races, so getting more traits is very, very reasonable. On top of that, something that I 
think I predicted when we saw that teaser last week is that we are getting new cybernetic portraits that will change based on advancement through cyberization. So the more cybernetic your pops become, the more cyborg bits they will get on their body. This is so cool. This is going to be very immersive and we can actually see now visually by looking at a species whether or not they are cybernetic to some degree and I am all for this. This is awesome. Big props to the developers for bringing in this change. On top of that, we're going to get new synthetic portraits with both organic and synthetic variants that changed based on the synthesization, usable by either organics or machines. So I think that if we synthetically ascend, we can now pick to look like a biological species still, a, a synthetic version of a biological species, and that's pretty cool. It always kind of bothered me that when we allegedly synthetically ascended, we suddenly had to look like robots and we couldn't continue to look like a synthetic version of our biological race. This is awesome. If all of that wasn't enough, this is also going to include two new ship sets. Is that machine ship set DLC confirmed? I don't know. Diplomatic rooms and new city sets. We're also getting seven new music tracks, synthetic and cybernetically inspired as well, I should point out. And if all of that wasn't enough to put in an expansion, which honestly I think it might be, we're also getting a few more goodies. There is going to be a new player crisis. Ignorance shackles us, putting the universe's secrets out of reach. No matter the price, we must break free. Building upon the crisis system introduced in Nemesis, the Machine Age introduces a second player crisis path, focused on technological ascendancy at any cost. And as you can see from the visual here, this is the machine, the device, depicted in the new trailer for this DLC. The time has come to be part of something greater. Basically, it looks like we're going to harvest our pops and use them and use their brains, I should say, not, not the rest of their bodies, mainly just their brains, in a Matrix-style setup to develop tech as fast as synthetically possible. This is definitely a fun little addition to add. It's going to add a feature that probably will only play through a couple of times, just like the Crisis, before we kind of have killed the galaxy enough and we don't go for it again. It really depends on exactly how this Crisis works. I assume we won't be blowing up the galaxy, we'll instead be rushing for technology and then maybe becoming a driven assimilator. Or perhaps the plan here is to harvest the population of the galaxy and utilize them for more research progress. I'm not sure exactly, of course, how this crisis is going to work, but I'm definitely excited to find out more. And if you're enjoying this video, please declare that like button a crisis. Last up on the feature list, but by absolutely no means least, we have the introduction of a fourth crisis. My children, at last I am returned to you. For the first time since the contingency was introduced in the Stellaris 1.8 Capec release, a new endgame crisis has been unleashed. An ancient threat, sealed away for countless millennia, has returned. Now, what could this be? I don't think we're going to be seeing the Hunters, the Hunters that are following the Pretherin, which could be the reference that the uh, external system outside the galaxy with the Sentry Array is, is meaning. I don't think the Hunters are coming. I think this could be something closer to possibly like the Necrons, an ancient race that has been slumbering for millennia, for, for untold generations, for eons basically, that is now returning to reclaim their galaxy. Functionally different to an awakened fallen empire, but conceptually possibly a little bit similar. We will of course have to find out more information on this new crisis before we can say anything else, but honestly, this feature list looks very, very thorough. 
My next question would have to be, what price point is this DLC going to come in at? The most recent DLC we have had, Astral Planes, was $20. That DLC in previous days would have either been $15 or only $10, as it was basically a story pack with a few extra bells and whistles. This is much more than a story pack, this is a full expansion. The developers have not actually mentioned where this price point will be yet, but I could see it being either $25 or $30 for this DLC. I would like to be wrong, I'd like for it to be $20 like the previous expansion size DLC, but given that they've been increasing prices on DLC releases for the last year or so, I can't see the price staying at the previous point of $20. What do you think on that though, ladies and gentlemen? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think this will be a $30 DLC? A DLC that's basically 75% of the same price as the base game. That's uh, quite an expensive DLC if it ends up at that price point. We do not yet have a firm release date on this DLC as we know that Machine Age will be released during the second quarter of 2022, which means either April, May or June. Personally, I think we'll probably have a May release that would fall into line with previous expansion releases, but we will have to keep our eyes to the skies for more information there. The developers will be releasing more info on each specific part of this feature list over the next few weeks. We can be sure of that, and I will be covering all of the new information coming out. 